Hello guys, it's Ryan Maniac V2 here. I have a Photoshop quick tip number one slash Cinema 40 quick tip number one. These will just be a series of little short tips, not necessarily uh, tutorials, just little basic general tips. So today is going to be how to um, uh, make flat flat images to Cinema 40, like like uh, logos to Cinema 40, making flat images 3D. So this is going to be from Im importing from Photoshop to Cinema 40. So pretty much what t today we're working with two layers because I want to show you how it's done with two layers because it gets confusing in Cinema 40 when you have two layers. So what you want to do is have your um, layers pre-cut out. So whatever you want to be 3D, um, if, there has, if there was a background on this, then you would have to delete it first and make sure only the things that you want to be 3D. Not the background, cut out the background. All right. So as you see, my shapes are cut out. And uh, we're going to be importing these into Cinema 40 as one logo, kind of acting like this is a logo. So what we're going to be doing is um, selecting both of them. So all you're going to do is hold Control or Command. If you're on a Mac, it's Command. If you're on Windows, it's Control. And there's just hold Control or Command and then click inside the picture of the layer, the layer thumbnail. Okay, and now you've got one selection, but I also need the R selected. So we're going to hold Shift and Control, or Shift and Command, if you're on Mac, and then um, click inside the next thumb thumbnail. So there we go. Do not click inside the background thumbnail, because then you'll just be importing a big square to Cinema 40, which is probably retarded. So anyways, now we have to make a path from this. Paths are the key to importing to Cinema 40. You have to have a path. So how do we do this? We have to go over to this button right here. It's the um, make new or make work path from selection, and it generates. See this little path? I don't know if you can see it on my screen recording program, but there is a little outline right here. It's not a selection; it's a path. So now we have to export paths to Illustrator, and if it looks a little uh, iffy, it'll look better in Cinema 40. Trust me. So we're gonna see this as Nike, and then we're just gonna head on into Cinema 40 from there. And all we're going to do is hit open up a new document on Cinema 40 and hit merge. And then we're going to go down and find your path. My path in this case was Nike. And just hit scale one centimeters. And um, this is why it was tricky with two paths. With one path, you see this little plus sign? If you only had one um, selection, you would just, you wouldn't have these, uh, you wouldn't have this little thing here in this drop down. But since you have more than one selection, I don't know why there is, I don't know why there's three selections. But um, since you have more than three selections, you cannot simply add an extrude nerves to the to this um, thing. You have to add it to all the individual layers inside this little bundle. So, um, so you're gonna have to get, make you're gonna have to drop this down, and then hit right click on the uh, little L thing, and uh, hit delete without children and now this leaves the paths open for you to edit with so now go ahead and drop an um, shoot nerves and um, you wanna just drop this drop two of them actually and then you're gonna drop uh, this path into that one and this path into that one same thing if you had three paths you would drop an extrude nerves on each one of them and now you basically wanna make, make them match up so um, I'm gonna go to I'm gonna make this one 40 so I'm gonna Command C, I'm going to copy that, and then I'm going to paste it on this one, so they are exactly the same. And uh, now, you can uh, mess around with them, and if you want to move both of them at the same time, you just simply highlight all of them, and you can uh, move them, you can rotate them all at the same time, uh, nice and easily. So, as we see, this has become a flat image to a 3D image. And uh, guys, this has been a little quick tip on Cinema 40 in Photoshop, how to export images from Photoshop to some 40 and uh, thanks guys. Hope you have found this helpful, and please check out Cray Designs. He is um, a great help. I didn't actually find this out directly from him, but he has a great tutorial on it as well, and I just thought I would give my point of view on it. So thanks guys, and go check his tutorial out and many other of his videos. Thanks.